How's it going everybody? My name is Dushan Williams and today we're looking at another piece of tech that I bought and just never used. This one I actually asked Laura to go and pick one out of the box. One that she knows that she hasn't seen me open or something that she doesn't recognize or remember. I told her grab it from the box that I got together and she picked this guy. So this guy is a digital voice recorder. The story behind this one was when I saw it, it was something that I was thinking about using when I was gonna be on the go and needed to record something that I didn't wanna have a big setup for. So I'm always looking, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I'm always testing different audio, testing different mics, testing different ways to record myself. And this was another one of those cheaper options, something simple, kind of like a backup to like recording some of the stuff that I say, just having something saved, something that's really portable and stuff. So that was kind of like the, the background for this one. I got it really cheap. I was like, it's not gonna break the bank, I'll use it. And because of me not putting out too many videos and stuff like that, and not doing a lot of the other stuff I was trying to do, that's the only reason why I didn't get a chance to use it. So let's go ahead, finally put a pull it out, see if we can test it a little bit and to see what it is that I got. And just kind of looking on the outside of the box, it says it has A, B, repeat, one button recording, has a delete feature, and it looks like it has a rechargeable battery. Some of the thing, some of those were one of the reasons why I got it for voice activated recording, recorded via high grade built-in microphone, uh, timestamp, display hours and minutes, low battery indicator function. That, that has a lot of really basic, easy stuff. Something like if you just need a voice recorder, I think this one hits really all the bells and whistles on it. Now looking at the bottom, this is supposed to be 16 gigs. I'm thinking that makes 16 gigs internal. You can even do password reset on it and everything. That's nice. The looks like the company that does this is E Tech Pro or Easy Tech Pro. Maybe that's how it really said. I'll just put it up there in case. You ever see them, receive something from them, this is where I, this one's at. Like it actually came with an Amazon gift card and stuff. Okay, so let's pull everything out. All right, so we have everything kind of laid out for us. See everything that you need. Let's see what we got here. So we have a micro USB charger, aux cord. You got headphones, it must be the microphone. This is a little clip on the microphone, something you kind of put right here. Kind of like right here under the collar or something like that. So this one comes with the way to listen to it, recording, a way to output it, and a way to recharge it. And we now we look at the actual recorder. This guy looks very small, but actually pretty weighty. Like it actually, it like it weighs, it feels like it weighs more than the dash cam that I did. See what we kind of got on here. So you actually have a lock feature. Your headphones, kind of get these. They actually go right here on the side. You got a line in. You can use an SD card, that's what I saw. It does have a 16 gigabyte internal memory in it. And you can still use the memory card, that is pretty cool. Seems really simple, let's see if, Let's see if it actually has some power to it. I might need to bust out the charger for this too. It actually has microphones too, to be honest. It actually has two microphones, or not microphones, speakers. It has two speakers out, so I probably won't even need the headset to actually listen to it. All right, so upon looking at instructions, the play button is what turns it on. You just gotta hold it for two seconds. No voice recording found, so. You do have here, you do have a low battery indicator. Actually, though, you have like a volume set, let me see, can I increase the, okay. So that would be, that turns on one menu. Can I go down? Let's see, okay, so you can use this to go down the two different, or the different um, settings. So save position, record settings, play test, uh, variable speed, playback. The uh, system setting and delete, okay, cool. So you also have a quick delete one or delete all, so. Uh, that's kind of nice. All right, let's see. Let's, let's actually try it out. So this actually looks pretty cool. Cool, cause I, like, I think I have better mics and stuff that I can actually use with this. So that would actually be pretty cool. You line in right there. Go ahead and put it on this side. All right, so with the battery and everything going on, let's do a quick replay. So please wait. 
All right, so as I am testing this, it actually shows me the kilobits per second that I was actually using to record this. It actually shows me the time. It shows me the left and right channel. So this is recording in stereo. It shows me the position that this is going on. It actually gives me a lot of information on the front, at least enough that we're actually really need it. Nothing too big, nothing too small. And honestly, like, it looks like a pretty cool. So let's go ahead and stop that. It took 30 seconds. This is going Oh. Actually, give me a lot of information on the Sorry. front that he's enough that we're actually really needed. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Yeah, it looks like, like, looks like a pretty cool So, let's go ahead and stop that after the 30 seconds. So, upon actually doing this, I think I, I messed that up. I think I actually had a record on the outside, which I think you can record even without these. So I think one of these is actually is a microphone. So let me see, let me do it right. Let me use this microphone, see if it changes or has it go better. Cause recording from, oh, it actually doesn't matter. You can actually tell where to record it from. It actually has instruction right there to tell you whatever you want to record. So if you have it in the wrong line, you just tell it the record in the right one. So I just say core from live in. And so after thinking that I kind of messed this up, um, we're gonna try and just test this out, see how this sounds, and hopefully like this actually gives us what we want. All right, so from what it looks like, and I'm gonna do one more test just to make sure I'm doing that. I'm not gonna use the mic or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit another record. All right, so we're just recording to see if I need a microphone, if I need anything. Maybe if this is just speakers here and we're gonna use that to record. So hopefully it sounds better and all that kind of jazz. All right, so we're just recording to see if I need a microphone, if I need anything. Maybe if this is just speakers here and we're gonna use that to record. So hopefully it sounds better and all that kind of jazz. All right, so I mean, I'll show you that's pretty cool. So you don't need this. I think what having something like this would just reduce a lot of the background noise. Have you heard right now, there was a lot of like that buzzing noise and stuff that's on the bottom. And then if you put your finger here over there, then it actually kind of muffles it. So, but it's cool. You don't need to have um, uh, kind of like a smaller microphone or anything like this to do the actual recording. You could just put it here, hit record, and you know, that's all she wrote and stuff. So there are different ways you could do this, meaning that while this one does one job, you can easily replace everything around it to have it do a better job, have it sound cleaner, sound more, you know, have more of a master sound to it. And this guy just goes ahead and just records it. So. This actually works out pretty cool. Like you can recharge it. You can just keep hitting record, record, record. We'll keep adding on the recordings. You can pull the recordings out. You could delete them, delete them all, stop. And you don't need a headset or anything at all to just play it back. Like you can play it back without the headset. I mean, that's to me is cool in itself. So, and let's hit, this is a great uh, tool for a lot of reasons. So. Let me finish up this video about saying who I think this would absolutely be for. So the way that I see if I were to suggest a product like this is definitely for students, anybody who's going to school who needs to record anything. I know there's you can do it with your phone, you can do it with other things, but this is so simple and so like easy going that like I mean while you could get an app you just put that in there, put it around, record it, have a microphone go into it. You know everything kind of works with it. You don't have to worry about whether or not this works with your phone or anything. It's something really simple. It's a charger that everybody has, so if it dies, you can just get it for somewhere else, and it's just, for less hassle, that's what you want to get it for. If you were trying to just record something, maybe you just want something that can uh, just record, like you're trying to say some notes, or maybe you're trying to, I know they've seen those movies where like doctors or something would actually record what they're saying and everything. This just seems like a really good example of that. You just hit the button, put it in your mouth, hit it, 
and be done with it. It's just, it's a really simple device for stuff like that where you can use it for get on the go. For me, like I said, I was thinking about using it as a, another recording device, right? Like something where I'm out, if I'm doing a video, something like this, and I want to have the microphone here in case the camera microphone or the microphone that I've attached to the camera dies, the one I have, whatever might be happen, I would have a second copy. Now, after using it, I would definitely would have to get um, probably like either a better microphone, something like that, so that way it could be more usable if I want to probably put it like out on YouTube or anything like that. But I mean, I don't think it would take much to upgrade it. Like, I could probably find see if I have another microphone and add it on here, and it'll probably sound just that much better, or clearer. Now, the unboxing for the like, I want to say Easy Tech Pro. I'll just say that if I say it wrong, then someone say it in the comments down below. But Easy Tech Pro, I actually kind of give this one a thumbs up. A product that actually just does what I said that it does, has a lot of good features, and I mean, I'm always gonna love something with a rechargeable battery and something that's really small. So, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully that's something, this is something that you probably think about if you see it, go on Amazon. I'd actually kind of recommend it for kind of the stuff that I said it, something really simple. And if you like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button on this one so that way you can see that and subscribe so that way you can see when I do put out those other videos. Until then, hopefully everything that you saw today will help you make a better and a more informed decision tomorrow. Thank you.